Welcome back. So I am transforming my Suzuki GSX-R 1000R step by step from a road bike to a track bike. So I thought I'll give you an update. The first modification I did was to fit some brand new all-in suspensions on the bike. And this proved to be a really good upgrade for the track. You can see this video just up here, there, or there, somewhere up. Then I fitted a few Yoshimura parts. I also fitted the bike with some slick tires and I went to test that to Le Mans. I joined an EWC uh, testing day and that was amazing. I was able to have fun on the track and uh, not get too thrashed too much by the factory bikes. So you can watch that video up here as well. And now it's time for the next step. Welcome back. So I've decided to turn my Suzuki GSX-R 1000R from a road bike into a track bike. Now the first thing you want to do, or one of the first things you want to do when you do that, is to replace all the standard like, fairings, get, get rid of the lights and everything. So I've come to see Richard from profiber.co.uk because he makes some rather special products. So why would you want to do that? Well, basically you're going to gain a lot of weight, which is good for track. You don't need all the lights, you know, you're not riding at night. And also in case of crashing, the bill can be quite expensive if you crash your road bike and break, you know, the mirrors, the lights, the standard fairing, they're quite expensive. So this is why you want to do that. Now, there's another reason why I've come to see Richard today is because Profiber, the code UK, they supply and provide some very special items, some unique items that I was interested in. So we're going to let Richard uh, describe it for us. Okay, well, the first thing that we spoke about was uh, the tank or the profile of the tank. This is what we call a superbike style tank. Um, there are manufacturers that make like an extension piece, but we decided to graft it all into the full tank cover so we could offer it as a one piece item. Uh, we've probably got four or five different seats for this particular model. It helps that I've got this model myself. It's been a bit of a test mule. Yeah, so that's, that's, your, that's actually your track bike here, Richard. This is, yes, this is my track bike. This, uh, this style of seat is the most popular one we do, but we managed to take about 15 mil from the height of it and got it down as tight to the standard subframe as we can. So, uh, and that, that's proven to be uh, really quite popular. Yeah, that'd be really interesting for maybe braking stability, have a bit more, a, a bit more of a position inside the bike instead of, it's true that in, in, with the super bikes, you tend to feel like you're sitting on top of them a bit. Mm -hmm. As in, for example, with the MotoGP bikes, you're more, you feel more like you're inside the bike, like a lot, a lot lower, um, a lot higher with the front. So I'm really curious to see that. And this is one of the main reasons why um, I wanted to try this, um, these items because I think they're going to feel absolutely brilliant. And with the tank as well, you, you do like, because it's raised here, you, you feel like you, you're going to have a really good like, ability to push with the legs as well. So on track, this is, this is really interesting. So yeah, I can't wait to see the bike when how it's going to look when it's going to be finished and also I'm really curious to try this different seating position and the, the, um, uh, the ability to use the legs a little bit more when riding hard on the track. It was great meeting Richard, very passionate about his job, family business as well and he also owns a GSX-R1000 just like me so yeah great meeting you mate. So I went back to pick the fairings from profiber.co.uk and took them for the next step. Right now, so let's go and take the fairings to Steve. So my mate Steve, he's got a paint workshop and he does quite a few jobs for um, teams and whoever wants their fairings painted. Um, he also got a business called uh, Chase Repair, so like repairing cars or whatever you need painting. Um, and he also happens to be a big MotoGP fan. He's a fan of Valley actually. So we're going to go and see him and he rides bikes as well. Uh, passionate about bikes and uh, we're going to give him the fairings and I think he's got a little bit of a surprise for us so I really can't wait to see the final result already. Steve sent me a few videos of him working on the painting process. The fairings going from untouched to prepping, priming, painting and lacquered at the end. And Steve replicated the 2020 MotoGP colours, which is absolutely awesome. And here I have Sylvan Gintoli's 2020 
Suzuki GSXR 1000 bodywork all prepped and ready to be two pack primed and then a later date we'll be putting the silver and the blue metallic on. Yeah, we're still moving now really, man. You can edit it. And there we are, all the bike bits that have been prepared are all in two pack primer and these are ready now to be breathe wet flatted and then we start putting the two colours on. Just to let you see that the first colour has gone on. Here's the final coat of Sylvan Gintoli's track bike bodywork in 2020 MotoGP colours. And while we're talking and everybody's looking at that, I'd like to thank Richard Pro Fiber for such lovely bodywork. And all we're waiting now is a full sticker set so we can apply and re-lacquer. The bike again? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's what we need to craft it. What I've got to do oh. then, once it's stickered up, uh, yeah, like s seal it. it again, yeah. Oh, look at that. It's clean in the sun. <laughs> now that is nice. So we are at Chase Accident Repairs with Steve and the fairings are all painted. Now look at this, this is proper factory this. 2020 MotoGP colors, Suzuki MotoGP colors and this is going to go on my JSXR 1000R. So now we're getting serious. Steve you've done a fantastic job there. Um, how much time does it take to do all that? You're probably looking from start to finish if you could spend a few hours on it. You're probably looking about a day and a half. Of work yeah, to do yeah. all this, yeah, yeah, because yeah, obviously you gotta like do the the dual colours, yeah, and Prime. there's all the prepping as well. I'm huh? them up before, yeah, yeah. Once you see those those race bikes, you know you don't you just don't realise how much work there is behind. This is fantastic. 
So yeah, thank you very much, Steve, for that. Not a problem. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll, we're going to feed them on the bike now, start yeah. the, the sticking job. Yeah. And then you said once, once it's all the stickers are done, um, you can also seal all that. So really, it really yeah. looks like a good finish. Yeah, really lacquer them over, yeah. So, so what is it, like a, another like coat, coat of... Coat. Clear. Oh, it's clear a clear coat. coat. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, it. Just to hold all the edges of the sticker down and give it loads of body. And it, does it protect it as well? Yeah, yeah protect it. So when you clean it and yeah. 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 So it looks good in the sun, eh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Great. So yeah, we'll see you soon then for the next stages with the stickers and um, and obviously we're going to have a look at it on, on the bike as well.